Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So I recently uh, made an unboxing video of the Chestnut Go. So here I have it in its case. I got a chance to uh, actually play it throughout my week and I've noticed that there could be some minor improvements to the board itself. I will, uh, I will say that in a moment. But overall my experience with the Chestnut Go was pretty good. I think it's really worth a play every now and then and it's a, a super convenient light board to carry as I said many times. The board itself has some minor issues. When I do pick up the board I've noticed that I've been pinching a little bit on the film itself so I think it would be a good idea for Chestnut to perhaps seal the exterior part of the board, the perimeter, so that therefore we wouldn't have to be able to touch or pinch the actual film on top of the board. What I suggested to Chestnut is that they use a plastic frame to cover the edges. We do want plastic since it's lightweight and we want a board that is easy to carry around. So rather than having the edges exposed with these three layers, we don't need to see these three layers, we just want the board for enjoyment. We actually want to play, so we don't really have to care about what's going on underneath the board, do we? So that would be an ideal improvement if they can actually cover the edges. Because as I said before, when we are holding onto the board, we are holding onto the edges. I'm just concerned about wear and tear. Since this frame is exposed and we have this sheet on top of it, it's perhaps glued with adhesive. I don't know exactly how they glued it on, but if we are always holding onto the board like this or like this. We are actually holding and pinching onto the side. This, this sheet right there is kind of protruding out on the edge. It's hard to see on camera, but that's what I feel. So I do feel like this part is kind of out of its place slightly. I'm talking about this white sheet here where the squares are showing. After you pick up the pieces and you have nothing on the board, I would like to know how you lift it up. Do you, you lift it up like this or like this? Or do you just, or will you just lift it up by the side? Because for this board, you may want to lift up this side first so that you will avoid wear and tear on the edges. That's just what I think. But of course, everyone has a different opinion. I respect everyone's opinion. And it's up to you how you lift it up. But I think to, for the longevity of this board, it would be ideal to have this edges sealed. This is what transmits the data from the board to the Bluetooth device that you're using, such as your iPad or Android device. Pretty good board overall. If I had a chance, I would let anyone play. And it's a really great enjoyment to play with this kind of board that's super convenient and lightweight. I've had no issue carrying this board in my backpack. Just like inserting a computer into your backpack, it's not really a cumbersome device to hold around and carry. What is also interesting with this case is the fact that we can just take out this um, bag. So it's already attached to the case, as you can see. So there's a Velcro strap on the back and you can just insert it like that. That's how it is. You may want to perhaps keep the pieces all flat because once you close it the pieces may poke at the board itself so what I'll do is just always make sure that when you're lying the device down keep it on the flat surface before closing it and make sure that all of the pieces are flat before closing this or what you can do is just take this out keep your board inside here just like so with nothing here to interfere with the board. So you have this inside a slot, nothing here, and you can close it and just carry this board around. You have another thing to carry around with you, but it's not really a problem. You can just keep them separate, it's great. I would love to hear your opinions on the Chestnut Go. Do let me know in the comments. I think it would probably be a good idea to insert a strap around. So let's say if we've got some extra spacing at the back, it will be a great idea to insert some hooks on the top 
just like as you would with the chestnut Evo. As with the case, it will probably be great to carry this on your, on your back or on the sides if you have a strap around it. Otherwise, you're left with carrying it with your hands. But no, it's, it's not really a big issue. It would be a good idea. So that's all I have to say for now for the Chestnut Go. I will make further videos along the road. I have also included a link in my description to get a 12% uh, discount, let's say a 12 to 17% discount on this board. So feel free to please use that link. That'll help support my channel. If you wanna see the unboxing of this chess board, please click on this thumbnail. That'll lead you to my unboxing video. I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.